Hello everyone, Sharif Abuzid here with a new video and today I want to speak about the best free WordPress plugin that you can use to add a learning management system to your WordPress website. Maybe you are starting an online course business but you don't want to add some extra core to your business expenses and maybe you are just want to validate your online course idea, idea and you want to use a free solution to validate this idea. Today, I will give you my recommendation for the best free plugin that you can use to add a learning management system to your WordPress website. And even you can even sell your online course using another free plugin using this plugin as well. If you are talking about a free plugin to build an online course for your WordPress website, I can't think about anything else but Tutor LMS. Tutor LMS is a very recent plugin. I think it was developed like three years ago, but it has proven itself to be one of the best e-learning management system plugins inside the WordPress community. As they have written, this is an e-learning and online course solution plugin. As you can see, it has been installed in more than 70,000 uh, websites, active websites. Now it, it, it is kept like updated frequently, so you can be sure that you about the security of the plugin. Also, it has like more than five, uh, 400 five stars reviews, which shows that this is a trustworthy learning management system uh, plugin that you can actually use. Now, let me show you how you can install and use this plugin and the main features that you need to take care of. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and to install the plugin, you need to go to plugins and then click add new. And the search bar, we need to search for tutor LMS. And this is the plugin that we're looking for. So we need to click install now to install the plugin. Then of course we need to click activate to activate the plugin to be used on our WordPress website. So let's click activate. Now, once the plugin is activated, it will be ready to be used for our WordPress website. Now, this is a typical wizard that you'll find once you start installing the plugin. So let me quickly go through this. So let's click this to start. And then we need to choose if you are building a website as an individual or if you want to create a marketplace um, to sell courses using or in cooperation with other instructions uh, or uh, other instructors, I will just choose individual and then click next. And here, if you want to allow an instructor profile to be shown inside your WordPress website, you, just need, you can click this on. I like just to leave this off, but I like to show a student profile so people will have access to a student profile that shows their um, courses, certificates, quizzes, and anything else. Here you can choose if you want to uh, show the lesson, link as lesson. I like just leave this like here and then click next. For the course row, I like to show in three rows. Instructor bio, I like to make this on. And for the queue and answer um, forum, I like to switch this off because I'm starting and finish my online course. I will just leave this as a, I will turn off the questions and answers. I will give my students another way to reach out to me. Then I will just click next. Here, if you want to monetize this, but I just like to, uh, of course, for the guest checkout, make sure that, that that you turn this off because if you turn this on, people can actually watch or register in your um, courses without uh, logging into your WordPress website. But this is not a good idea. If you want to have a serious online course business, you need to be able to register for your WordPress website and to have an account for them. So I'll just click, I'll, I'll turn this off, of course, and I'll just leave the payment methods um, as it is here, because you can use another plugin to sell your online course. I'll just click finish setup. Now the setup should be finished. And this is um, the um, first screen that I see once I uh, finish my setup of, of tutorial limits. Now, this is an important feature that you need to take care of, which is activating or enabling the membership feature of WordPress and which means that you can allow people to register for your WordPress website to or you allow them to create an account for them so they can add their username and password and login for their account. This is an important step that you need to take care of. Now, you can just click here enable to enable this feature but if you don't find this message, there is an easy way you can find this option. You need to go to settings and then you click general and here you need to make sure that you check the anyone can register for the membership level. So now everyone can register and have an account for your WordPress website. So let's click save change. Now we are ready to start using our tutorial limits to create our first online course. But first we need to make a few changes under the settings tab. So let's go to tutorial limits and here we'll find the courses, courses bundle, categories. I like to start with the settings because we need to um, activate a few settings first. 
So for the dashboard, make sure that you are using the dashboard, uh, you are adding the dashboard here, which means that uh, which page that you like to have as your student's dashboard. Tutorial MS by default creates a few pages like a student registration page, dashboard page, and instructor uh, pages. Uh, of course, they have already, our Tutorial MS has already activated or created our dashboard page, so I just leave it like here. Um, this is what I actually need to do in this page. So we're under the courses, the courses um, for, so let me choose. I, I like to uh, turn on the spot uh, light mode, which turns that it makes it improves actually the experience of the students, so they will be more focused in the content of your uh, courses. So I just like to you know activate this spotlight mode. And here under at the at the bottom of this page, there is an important uh, option that you need to take care of, which is the preferred video source. Now. You'd, it's not recommended that you upload your, if you want to create a video course, it's not recommended that you upload your videos to your WordPress website because it makes it very difficult for your students to stream the videos. So the recommended solution is that you host your videos in a, another platform, something like Vimeo or Buddy.net or even YouTube, if you like to do this. Uh, I, the one, the service that I, I highly recommend is Buddy.net. I will leave a link down below for my other video which shows you which shows you how you can actually use Bunny.net to host your videos. Uh, but for this video, I'll just use the uh, YouTube uh, source. So um, now I can add my YouTube videos for my courses. And then we need to click Save Changes. And for the monetization, if you want to monetize this, if you want to sell your online courses, you can install WooCommerce to sell your online courses. I made another video about this, so I'll not go through this again. Now, so now for the design, this is something like design view, how is how you like the instructor list to layout to look like, the student's profile to look like. You can just make changes here. Here also you can change or you can choose your colors here. And for the advanced tab, uh, if you want to enable the block editor for your lessons, you can just take, turn this on. I think we have like chosen the most important parts, and but there is another option that I like to use which is the uh, video player. Yes, this is the uh, YouTube or Tutor MS player for YouTube. Because if you are hosting your videos inside YouTube, people may be distracted if the if the YouTube video is shown up. So Tutor MS has made a very good move by customizing the look and feel of YouTube videos inside your online courses. So make sure that you are activating this option if you are using YouTube as your video source. So let's, let's click Save Changes here. Now, these are the main changes that you need to take care of before adding content to your online courses. Now, let me show you how you can actually add content or how you can actually create content or courses using TutorLMS. To create a new course, you just need to go to Courses, and then you need to click Add a new course. And here we need to give this a name. So let me give this like a WordPress for beginners. So WordPress for beginners, this will be a beginner's course for WordPress. Let me just, you know, um, beginners. So let me be uh, beginners. beginners. Let me fix this. And here we need to add a paragraph as an introduction for the course. So let me copy some. Um, let me copy uh, this part. So let me copy this paragraph and add it here. Of course, you can even change this if you want to add a title. So let's add a title or right, something like here. You can add, write a title here, title here, and you can, you know, choose this to make this like H2 or H1. Of course, you like, you can make some changes here. And then you need for, and under the general, you can choose what is the maximum number of students, uh, the difficulty level, I, I call choose beginners here. If you want to make this public, public course means that people don't have to register for your order with website or does it, don't, they don't have to have an account, which is not recommended again. So I turn this off, this should be, this shouldn't be a public course. I will turn off my Q&A sections. And here you can add for the course builder, this is where the magic, where the magic happens. You can add your lessons here, but I'll go back this in a few seconds. Then you need to add what people will learn, the target audience, the materials included, and the requirements. I have already added some content, so I just come here what you will learn, I will just copy this. I have just prepared this for the recording. For the target audience, I will say uh, uh, WordPress 
beginners beginners let's make this here duration i will make this like one hour so let's say this is a one hour course and for the materials included i will just add you know some lists like videos videos and pdfs something like this pdfs and for the requirements i will just add some like you know let me add some requirements here so let me just copy this here you know this is just some uh, dummy requirements text so now to add our lessons lessons as i mentioned comes under the course builder so to, uh, and now the course builder divides your content edu into something like modules and under each module you can add lessons so let's say this for the new topic topics i like to name this like module so let's call this module a and let's say this is the foundation let's say this is the foundation module and let's click add topic and let's add another topic and let's call this module b and let's click add let's say this the um let's say introduction uh, let's say um not uh the first one is foundation let's say this is like the start or starting something like this starting out so let's say let's say starting out of course you can come up with a better name so now we have two modules and inside these modules we can add our lessons so let's click to add our lesson under the module you can add actually quizzes and you can add lessons i will just add lessons here so let's click add lesson and now we'll be taken to this pop-up window here we can add our lesson name so let's say this is lesson a and here we can also add some content we can add content here so let's add some content quickly so let me just copy this paragraph again here and then we can add an image or we can add our youtube video remember the video source if you have chosen like Vimeo, Vimeo will show up here. You can add a link for your Vimeo. But because I have chosen only to add or to, to add my YouTube videos, I can just take any URL from YouTube. So this is a video that I have taken about how to choose a WordPress theme. I will just take this and add my URL here. Of course, I can add attachments if you like to add like a PDF or checklist, like a summary of your course. You can just upload it as an attachment. So let's click update lesson. And now we have our first lesson created. Let me add another lesson. So let me add another lesson here. So let's click here, add another lesson. Let's say that this is like lesson B. Uh, let's make this here. Let's avoid adding some content and let's add another um, YouTube video link. So let me make this, let me take, make this or take this link here. So let me add it here and let's click update lesson. Now, it's our course is almost ready but i like to add a featured image for the course that image will be will be a very large image that show up when people scroll or uh, browse through the content of the course so uh, to add a featured image we we'll just just click here go to our media library you can choose any image as our featured image so this is like a an editorial design website but i can use just any other image here you know what let's choose this image and let's click set as featured image so this is our featured image page so let's click publish and let's view this course in incognito mode so let's open this incognito mode and let's see how does this course will look like so this is how our course will look like of course we need to make sure that we add a right name we can add this is our enroll now people can enroll so when people click here they can log in or register i will just go through this process again this is our course uh, module if we want to show more we can this is our content of course we need to make tweaks to this title here and this is what people will learn and this is our course module so now people can actually enroll in this course but i like to make a few steps uh, before i give people access to enroll my course so let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and let's you know remove this so let's remove this and let's click update now remember the dashboard uh, uh page i mentioned um you will find it under pages so let's go to pages this is a page that's created by default by uh, wordpress by tutorial MS. so let's click here and this is our students dashboard i need to add this to my menu so once people log into their account they will have access to this dashboard page and they can access their online course so to add the dashboard page to my menu i'll just go to again back to the wordpress dashboard i will go to appearance and their menus 
I will add my dashboard. So let's choose the dashboard page from here. Let's click add to menu and let's save the menu. Now the, uh, when I go to my WordPress website, you'll find the dashboard page has been added to my navigation. So, uh, so let's go back to the dashboard page. This is how the dashboard page will look like. So let's go back to the um, um, demo or the incognito mode. Let's click refresh and let's try to enroll. As you can see, this is the new page. This is the course. So let's click enroll now. So if the student had already created an account for them before, they will just add their username and password and they will have access to this online course. If this is a new student, they will just click register now and they will have to create a new account so let me add like quickly add my first name and uh, let's call this test two and let's change the test to email and let's add a password here so let me add a password here let's add a password here and let's click register now i should be registered for this website now i have registered in the website and now i have access to the course if i want to start learning the course I will just click start learning here. If I want to mark this as completed, I can just click complete here. If you want to prevent people from completing their courses until for in their own, maybe people just click complete course to have a certificate from you saying they have completed the course. You can actually deactivate these features inside the settings. So I'll just click start learning. And now as a student, I have access to all of the courses this is the course and this is the content of the course if you have already added some attachments you will have a new tab here called attachment and now you have a fully functional e-learning management system inside your wordpress website that you can add courses to if you want to know how you can sell this online courses uh, this online course using the woocommerce plugin i will leave a link down below for my other video where i explain how you can actually use the woocommerce plugin to sell your online courses but by this way you have a free plugin that you can use to add an online course feature to your wordpress website if you find this video helpful please give me a like and also please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single day now thank you so much and see you in the next video